Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is Chit Chat Sunday with Tina Bobina. Recorded. Um, I usually do it live on Facebook. I've been doing it for four years on Facebook. So, but I am now starting to do it on YouTube. Um, so now I'm recording them and uh, I'm going to be doing the card readings and uh, basically chatting as stuff comes up and see what comes up. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, I originally. I uh, was working in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and uh, as a registered massage therapist and Reiki master and, you know, all about energy work. And, and at the moment, I'm in Shining Bank uh, campground working as a camp host in uh, for this summer. I'm living in an RV for anyone who is new to the channel because I'm... Uh, I have ha I have a YouTube channel, but I haven't really been doing anything with it. Uh, most people who follow me on Facebook already know that I've been in an RV. Uh, and I was down in Ottawa as well in the Freedom Convoy. Uh, some agree, some don't. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's all about our own freedom of choice. And really, it's about ourself walking through the d dark night of the soul. Uh, hence is why I'm... And doing this is because I want to be out to reach more people rather than um, a small amount on Facebook. Um, so, um, so here we go. And I do t three to four cards I'm going to be doing. And um, we'll go from there and then I'll uh, explain them. I read them from a book. Uh, and... Uh, uh, I don't take readings. I mean, I could, but I it's I always do them from a book. So uh, I also do not do tarot readings. I only do oracles um, and whatever comes up. Now, once we do this, um, I would love for you to like, comment, and share um, to help my YouTube channel to get a thousand subscribers so I can do go lives and chit chat on one on one or with other people. I love chit chatting with people. Um, so, but we have to get a thousand subscribers first in order for me to do lives. Um, and so we're going to get on with it. And, um, but I'm going to also talk about. Um, so, so this is somewhat going to be coming a blog, if you will. Oh, that startled me. Anyway, um, this is going to be somewhat of a blog and, um, I am, um, I'm living in an RV and I'm kind of just flying by the seat of my pants and, uh, really just putting my faith in the source and, Letting it, letting source guide me to wherever I need to be, and um, it takes. You have to be fearless. You have to have faith, and it takes a lot of courage. Um, so I'm going to talk about mastering yourself, mastering yourself. So this is, and I am experienced mastering yourself, and I'm going to put the link down below for this meditation that I am following a lady from Salomon Arms. Her name is Sarah Blondin. Meditations are incredibly profound and they really get to your core if you're needing to uh, get help or not help, but to come back to yourself and your heart come from the you know, healing your heart, or if you have wounds, or, and most of us do, we have some kind of, um, wounds, or, uh, baggage, or something that we've got to heal, so, we, with that being said, I will put that, because they are profound, she has these 10-day ones, and they're amazing, absolutely amazing, and, uh, so, uh, they're very profound, and it really is about, um, uh, mastering yourself 
Uh, so here's the first one, trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Isn't that divine timely? Um, so trust. And the mosquitoes, I do not like mosquitoes. They are bad. Well, they're bad, like there's a lot of them, right? So anyway, but, but they, yeah, they are bad actually. They welt you, like big welts and oh my goodness. All right. Uh, the earth can be a tricky place. Yeah. Uh, but you have been given a tool to help you na navigate. Oh, they're biting me bad. Um, through the murky waters, your intuition uh, must learn to tell the difference between ego talk and soul talk. Then you then trust your soul. Once you get into the habit of following your intuition, you will come to practice that discernment externally. You will be able to know if a person or a situation is trustworthy. But it all begins with listening to your inner voice. Exercise it like a muscle, and when you you determine that it is always right, that the wisdom will spread out and influence everything you do. Decisions will seem easier. Your soul only wants what's best for you, and you must learn to trust it. Isn't that the truth? This is all about your intuition, being guided by your intuition. Um, and, uh, and I have learned to surrender to my intuition it, and uh, because you're basically s surrendering to source and and you have to have a profound trust and be fearless when, when it comes to but intuitively you will never be steered wrong if you are being guided to do something you're going to feel that niggling feeling um or if something's not feeling right that's your intuition. That's your kind of like that little hairs on the back of your neck coming up. Uh, you know, like they're, you just know. And then, um, you know, but it starts getting better and better if you continue to meditate, which is following doing this Sarah Blondin's meditation, 10 day uh, deep self respect, beautiful course. And just order your book online. Um, it's about discovering the heart or something like that. And it, ha and it has daily meditations with it as well. Um, oh my goodness. It's a big wave of this. Look at this. Trusting your intuition. This is a different deck. Okay, this one's here. The gateway. And this one here is this one. Right? So this is two different decks. Same thing. <laughs> trusting your intuition so guess what trust your intuition <laughs> wow 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 right trusting your intuition 87 oh my goodness they are bad the mosquitoes are flying around here it's something now i'm just getting bit like 90 all right card meaning my life is truly guided. Listen with your heart and act on instinct. Trust that you are being guided as a message you are receiving are in a highest in your highest good. Follow the nudges from spirit. The universe wants you to know. Your intuition is the vehicle for messages from spirit. If in the past you followed your instincts, then later it seemed to be wrong. Move. Wrong move. Don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often with perspective of time, the things that seem like mistakes were actually your best experience. Know that there is spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. As you open up your intuition, you will sense their loving presence and profound messages. Question to ask yourself, how can I access my intuition even more? If I knew what my higher self was trying to tell me, what would it be saying? What is blocking my intuition and how can I heal this? Yes. So that's a very good one to kind of open up. And meditation, again, is is the way to do it. It's the way to do it. You have to constantly, and me, I'm meditating all the time here. And stuff's coming up all the time. Uh, mastering yourself. So I don't know if somebody, like, you know, a lot of people struggle with depression, anxiety, um, I know I have, and I still do. 
I still get anxiety and depression and stuff like that. But it's about reframing your thought process in your mind to snap yourself out of that. Um, because you don't want to stay there. You, you don't, you don't, you got to be present with nature. And all of a sudden I was always something comes up. Like I was sitting there and there was a bird just flying around in the trees and it's that presence and awareness that brings you to connecting with Mother Earth and all things that helps you get out of your own way, right? And that is very important. Know that it is done. The messenger number 14. Number 14. When we know our deepest desire in our heart, then it will come to pass. When we desire what we desire for cannot manifest without experiencing it within ourselves as a feeling first, as we are the creators of everything in our reality. We are very powerful as we are the very essence of source energy and living flesh. It is a combination of the feeling of already having what we desire our clear intention and allowing what is to exist without judgment that manifests our dreams into physical form. Where their emotion and thoughts are muddy, we get muddy results in our reality. Gen generally muddy thoughts as a result of unprocessed emotions within us that need to be felt and allowed to know that it is done. And so it is. This, and again, Sarah Blonde, and I'm not making any money or anything off this. I'm doing the course and I'm telling you right now, it's extremely profound extremely profound in helping you to get out of your own way and being guided to what's right for you and manifesting what you want in your life, your truest potential and authentic and all in, um, and just flying through life, uh, with happiness and joy instead of always getting in your own way and stopping your own beautiful self from living to your fullest potential. On the other side, here's their last card. Oh my gosh, look at this beautiful card. I live each stage of my life fully, accepting it totally. Difficulties create a bridge towards liberation and bring about inner peace. I welcome each moment, always holding on to my faith. I know that the light is always there on the other side. That, and the more you surrender and give to this, you're you're going to know and feel how protected you are from source, the omnipresence of all things, which is everything around you, right? Everything. And that being said, from my heart to yours, big love, are you ready? I love you all. Ready? Shine your light. Oh, shine your light, shine, shine, shine your light, and smile, and give someone a hug today, because you never know who needs it, and remember, like share, subscribe, and help my channel grow so I can continue to help more and more people. I love you all, and I wish everyone a great week. I am probably going to be starting to do, this is a general read for the collective. I'm also going to be doing um, uh, cancer re card readings as well. For and then anybody who can want to watch it, that's fine. And uh, on that, but because I am a cancer, I'm really understanding um, the ebb and flow of cancers, right? Because you know, like we're up and down on emotional levels. So, but um, I feel that I'm going to be doing um, that. I may create a different channel for that, but we'll see. We'll play it by ear. We'll tri we'll I'll tap into my intuition. There we go. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.